Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to change the password for your email account in the cPanel and webmail interface. Before we start this tutorial, we need to make a note that in order to change the password in the cPanel, you need to be able to log into the cPanel as the cPanel user. This will allow you to access the email interface or you can change the passwords. We're also going to be covering how to change the password in the webmail interface, which is available to any user as long as they know the original password. When we're working on this particular tutorial, we'll be working in the cPanel with the Paper Lantern theme. As you can see here, this is a little different from the X3 theme, so things will be a little different if you're using this theme and you haven't seen it before. So before you can change the email passwords, you'll need to first be able to log in to the cPanel as the cPanel user. So here I'm logged in as the cPanel user, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and scroll down until I find email, and you'll need to click here. When you find the email account section, you need to make sure that you're in the correct domain. And once you have the correct domain, you can scroll down to the bottom here where you see the email accounts listed. You can see each individual account as an administrator, and you can see that there is a password option here for each account. So in order to change the password for that account, just simply click on password. So here you can change the password by typing in the password that you want to use and the password again. Note that if you use the password generator, it'll give you a very strong password and it will make sure that you've copied the password before you use it. In the advanced options here, you can see that it gives you all kinds of different ways to control the way the password is being generated. Once you've copied the password into a safe place, like onto a clipboard or if you've written it out, click on Use Password, and it will be used in the fields here. And once the, the password has been put in both fields and they are both confirmed, you would need to click on Change Password in order to confirm the change of the password for that email account. So let's look at the webmail interface for changing the password. Again, in order to change the password using the webmail interface, you'll need to know your original password to start with. And now this is available to anyone who can log in to webmail, but again, they won't be able to change their password if they don't already know it. Or they can contact the administrator who's responsible for managing your email accounts. So here, this is the actual webmail interface using the new Paper Lantern theme. So I'm going to log in with my test mail account. I'm going to click on login here. Once you're logged into webmail, you'll see the three different webmail clients that you can use to view your email. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see the username for the account that you're viewing, and you'll see a drop-down arrow. Click on that drop-down arrow. When you click on that drop-down arrow, you'll see the different options that you have here, including password and security. So if you click on password and security, you'll see the interface for changing the password. Again, here you would need to type in the new password, you would need to confirm that password, and then you would need to save it. So let's go ahead and look at the password generator. If I clicked on the password generator, it gives you this a very complicated password. You can generate another one until you're satisfied with it. And then once you're ready to use it, you click on I have copied this password in the safe place, which I'll just go ahead and copy it. And then I'll go ahead and click on use password. It's placed in both the places for you. Indicates that the password is very strong. And then once you want to use that, you click on save. If you look back at the password generator and you look at the advanced options, Again here, as previously in the cPanel, you have the option to select what kind of password you can generate with the password generator. And once again, once you're ready to use the password, after having changed the way the password can be generated, you make sure you've copied the password in a safe place, whether you've written it down or you've copied it somewhere onto your computer, and then click on Use Password. And finally, once you've successfully changed your password, you'll get a confirmation message that says, Success! You successfully changed your password. And then you can go ahead and log out. And you can type in your email address and your password to make sure that it's working. And that concludes our tutorial on how to change the password for an email account 
in cPanel or the Webmail interface. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. We'd also like to see a comment or two from you so that we can know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.